Happy Halloween, folks, or Happy All Saints Day, or Happy Thanksgiving. Depends on when I get this video uploaded. Hopefully before we're too far into November. Sorry, That's I'm the goal. But at any rate, it is your Black Knight. And so here we have Rusty Jack, my, my secondary character, my alt character, my backup character. The character I use to keep the extra cars in the garages I can't put on my main character. And he's out getting his Halloween costume together, yes! The CEO in pajamas is already walking around in pajamas and a fedora. I'm not sure you can improve on that. Of course, having just swapped characters, I'm in a public session, but I should be able to buy a suit without being griefed by someone trying to pad their KD ratio, right? Yeah, sure, I, I think we all know the answer to that. That simple white suit may not look like much, but he's actually portraying a concierge from heaven. <laughs> Think about that job. Yes, I could get you a dinner with Tom Petty, prepared by Julia Child, and the wait is only 15 millennium. Yes, it's all really simplistic just to imagine meeting famous people, since you've got generations upon generations available to meet, and there, there'll be no more star-struck emotions in heaven. It's just people. We're all just people. I don't think you'll be bored either, as eternal rest doesn't mean a nap. It means life without worry, you're at peace, relaxed, resting. So you have more energy to do things, really, you know, that there's all kinds of stuff that could be going on. So many different ways to imagine it. So wouldn't it be cool to be someone coordinating all there is to do in heaven? I'm not saying it's theologically proper or would be necessary, but it's a funny costume idea, in my own opinion. Of course, the outfit might invoke a bit of Ricardo Montalban and Hervé Villachez, if you're old enough to remember Fantasy Island, and it's not unintentional. But I couldn't quite perfect the look. Now, why was I going in this direction? What's my inspiration? Why am I going with some kind of heavenly ideal here? I'm glad you asked! It's Halloween, which means the Sanctus motorcycle is available again! I never bought one, as they are expensive, ugly, slow bikes, to be honest. But if you're really into the goth look, then they might call to you, but they don't work for me, generally speaking. But now they're 35% off, and I have the idea that I could strip off the skull, the, the rib cage, the webbing, and that would give me a unique looking bike that people might not recognize. Paint it pure gold, and it would look like it lived up to its name. Sanctus means holy, after all. You see the whole link there, we're tying everything together. So I had a theme going here, and I almost pulled it off, but for one thing, you can't get rid of the skull. You can get rid of the, the rib cage, well, but no, we have to keep the skull. I think I conflated the Sanctus with the Vortex, which is the other bike with multicolored eyes and a funky headlamp. That one you can remove, I think. I haven't tried it, so don't quote me on that. So the whole project fell apart, and I found myself with this gold skull bike that looked otherwise normal, and it wasn't working for me. Then I tried putting the webbing back on and making it a Spider-Man bike, but it looked like Spider-Man and Red Skull builds a bike they could share. You know, perhaps Red keeps it at his place, and Spidey can borrow it every other weekend or something. I at first, I was just going to dump it in a warehouse and leave it for later, but I wanted to complete the bike for Halloween. So I went with the predominant colors in the garage, orange and purple, and built kind of an undead, bruffy 1322 opening screen bike kind of thing. The colors work. It looks adequately Halloween-y, feels very strange to drive, and will most likely be a collectible in the back of my biker clubhouse. I don't mind having spent about $1.8 million on the exercise, especially since that's less than the bike is normally without modifications, and you, you never know which Halloween will be the last time it's offered. But I gotta say, it's not the vision I started out with by a long stretch, and I'm calling this a fail. If I had a truly unique golden bike that people wouldn't even recognize without the skull, I'd probably make it my main free mode vehicle. As it stands, it's a, yeah, I got one of those in the back of the garage. So, happy Halloween, All Saints Day, perhaps Thanksgiving, depending on how long it takes me to put this video together. And on this note, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. Why do they do this? Why do they always do this? Nick, there's no bucket. There's no bucket! Oh, bonus clip here, I just noticed as I was switching back to my main character here, the uh, CEO in pajamas, that uh, the main character is at level 500 now. Did not notice it uh, switch over to 500, don't know when that happened. So, uh, at least I've got that going for me.